What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today it is all about trail cameras. I am uh, out here at one of my pieces of property that I like to hunt. Uh, we've got a mixture of public and private land out here, so I'm gonna be putting out these trail cameras. Uh, I've got 10 of them with me. We'll see how many we get to today. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun day. Um, it's nice and cool this morning. I tried to get out here super early so I could beat the heat. It's supposed to be 96 degrees today, and uh, I'm sure plenty of humidity. We've got some moisture in the air right now. I don't know if you can tell, but we've got some clouds going on. Um, it was thundering and lightning earlier as I was driving in, so hopefully I don't get caught in the rain, but even if we do, we're still gonna put the work in and get these cameras out. I've been meaning to do this for several weeks, and I finally found some time to do it. So I'm excited about it. We're gonna get some of these things set up and uh, yeah, see you in the woods. getting rained on now. Glad I brought these uh, gators. <laughs> Gonna find a good spot to put this camera right off the edge of this bean field here. And I know, I know that this is big bedding back here and there were some good rubs in here last year. So I'm thinking there's some bucks who are living back in here um, and work their way out to this bean field. Especially come like early September so I just want to get an inventory of what kind of bucks are in here and uh, that's all I'm really after so all right got a spot right here that is overlooking the beans and uh, that big bedding's back there so I'm gonna go ahead and put the trail camera right here on this tree and uh, let it overlook the beans Got water on the lens. All right, we got one camera set. Heading back to the bike and uh, move on to the next camera. That rain is uh, just going on and off. It's not really letting up, but it's not really downpouring either. So um, it's tolerable. Not ideal, but it's tolerable. So anyway, move on to the next one. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Came back over to the bike and realized the front tire is completely flat. I must have uh, ran over a pretty healthy thorn because these tires are really, really durable tires. Um, I've ran over all sorts of stuff with these and not really had any issues, but all it takes is one, I guess, just the perfect placement and the perfect thorn, but I guarantee it's probably a good one. Poke through the run flat, get it back to the truck, load it up, and <laughs> we'll have to do the rest of these cameras on foot. Uh-oh. We got buzzards. That can't be good. Hopefully there's not a dead deer back here. Man, this wind is starting to pick up. Still got pretty good thunder clouds out this way. Man, check that bed out. Got another one over here. But those are buck beds. Those are pretty big. Maybe a bachelor group of bucks. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple more beds over here. It's 
that's what we're looking for. Trying to find where the deer are at. Get an inventory on them. See what we got for bucks and fawns and does and just overall deer herd. Yep, look at this. Got another bed. Man, those beds are big. Those gotta be buck beds. Put the camera somewhere close here. Okay. I like this tree right here. This opening right here. Might be able to catch deer moving back and forth on this bean field. Um, but yeah, put it right here. I got camera number two set. The wind is picking up pretty crazy right now. So I apologize for uh, bad audio if that's what's coming through. But headed to set camera number three, just on the back side of the same property, um, about a quarter mile away. So just hiking in to do that. And we'll head back to the truck and grab another camera. Hopefully, you know, I've got 10 with me, but about half of them I want to put on another property that's an hour and a half away from here. So um, we'll see how many I get to on this property. Hopefully I can get five or six out on this one. And then uh, might have to do a, another video for the other five. Wheat. I was hoping this backfield was going to be beans, and it is. Uh, sometimes the farmer rotates them kind of irregularly, so I just never know if it's going to be corn or beans, and it is beans. That's what I was hoping for. So, go put a trail camera up on the edge and hike back to the truck and continue on. You can see in here where this grass is kind of matted down. If you look at these trees, you can see where the deer have been eating the leaves off and the stems off of these trees all along here. So, I mean, all the way out here. I know this spot right here is a pretty established scrape line during the rut. Um, so, I know the deer like to frequent this area and use this area. And like I say, I'm glad that it's beans this year being that I'm really, really gonna try to focus on uh, early season. I'd really like to shoot a whitetail buck in velvet and Nebraska season opens September 1st. So there's a good opportunity for that if I can get one within the first week of season. But um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna try to figure out setting the camera up here somewhere where they're frequenting this area quite a bit. Good to go. Camera number three is set. All right, I changed my mind a little bit on this camera. I'm actually gonna put it back here on this piece of public ground in what I know as a buck bedding area. Um, I've seen bucks use this bedding area. A few years ago, I shot a buck that ran directly towards this bedding area um, after the hit. So uh, I'm gonna set up the camera just on the outskirts of it. I'm not gonna get right inside of it, but I'm gonna set the camera up within 150 yards or so of it. And uh, I've got the wind in the right direction. That's what got me thinking about this spot. 
I've got a good wind to go hang the camera and not disturb that bedding area. And I'll just make sure that when I come and check this camera um, that I have the same wind and I'm not disturbing anything. So I'm just gonna slip in here real quiet, get this camera set up, back back out, get down to the truck again. All right, I've only worked my way in here a little ways and I already found this bed. This buck can sit here and let the wind blow over his back and he can look down in this whole creek bottom. That's the kind of stuff you want to look for that is a tall tale sign of buck bedding. So I'm going to look somewhere real close right here to set the camera up so I can slip in and out easy and check, check the card without disturbing too much. All right, found my spot right here. This fence post is going to be where I'm going to hang the camera, but it's right on top of this ridge line. The majority of the bedding is off that way and it gets really, really, really thick. And I can slip in right on this fence line and check this camera super, super easy. The bucks can move to and from. There's a big, just standing grass field out here to my right. And then down the ridge line across the road, there's beans on the other side. So I'm quite sure those bucks are utilizing this area for bedding on public and going across the road and feeding in those beans at night um, when nobody's driving around or seeing anything. So um, that's just my takeaway from this spot is uh, the best bedding isn't necessarily on the private property. The best bedding in this situation, in my opinion, is on the public land. So. Um, anyway, I'm just utilizing what I see on the maps and what I'm seeing on the ground and uh, that's what I've come up with. I think this is the, the best bedding situation for a big mature buck um, to slip in and out of that bean field easily without being seen and across the road just beyond the bean field what would be big bedding on the private side uh, the farmer has cattle in there. so. Uh, I don't know a big buck to really like to stick around cattle for very long. Definitely don't like to establish their bedding areas around cattle because they're constantly getting kicked up and moved. So my best bet is the big bucks in this area are utilizing this little chunk on the public ground to do their bedding. And it's really not even all that far off the road. All right, got this camera all set up, good to go. The other thing that's dynamite about this spot is right down behind me, right off of this ridge line, there's a uh, freshwater creek, and I believe that creek is spring fed, but it runs the entire length of the ridge line. So those bucks, I guarantee, I mean, they've got everything they need up here. They've got bedding, they've got water, they've got crazy amount of cover and right across the road on the private side um, they've got their beans they've got their feed so I think this spot early season could be one of the better spots that I have and uh, once again it's on public land honestly most of the spots that I find that are truly really really good spots most of the time they set up on public land. Um, I do have private land spots that I have access to, but nearly all of them have cattle on them. Nearly all of them have other hunters. Actually, all of them do. I don't have one private land spot that's all to myself. Um, so, and several of them have a lot of pressure, probably more pressure than certain chunks of public ground do. So. Um, in my eyes, I honestly uh, see a benefit to hunting public land. There's a lot of different opportunities. Yes, you have to hunt it a little bit differently so that you don't bump things off of the areas that you know um, are potentially good bedding areas, potentially good travel routes, stuff like that. Uh, because, you know, you bump deer off of a, a pressured piece of public ground and they'll just go find the next private to live on. They won't put up with very much. 
especially those big bucks they don't want to put up with very much uh, intrusion they won't tolerate it so they'll just move off so you got to be careful on how you do hunt certain pieces of public and other pieces you got to get aggressive but this piece in particular as far as I know right now I don't think it's getting a crazy amount of pressure that might change um, but I'm excited to see what these trail cameras are going to show me for at least the early season spot. All right guys, so I went and set another camera off camera. <laughs> I didn't bring my DSLR with me, um, but I'm gonna go set one last camera. So this will be camera number six for the day. Uh, and then I'm gonna hold on to the other cameras and move them to another property uh, about an hour away from here, but that'll be a whole nother video. So come along with me on this last camera and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, headed in to set the last camera of the day starting to get really really hot it's supposed to get up to about uh 96 or 98 degrees today and i'll bet we're there it's about 12 30 right now so um be excited to get this camera set uh, head back towards town and uh grab a bite to eat get something cold to drink I knew there was a trail in here somewhere that I wanted to put this. I think it's just right over here, but there's a lot of poison ivy in here. And it is thick. All right, let's set the camera right here on this tree. There's a couple of different trails that come in from the back off of this cornfield right here. And back in here by the bedding and the uh, creek bend that goes around so I'm gonna put the camera right here and get out of all this poison ivy all right got the camera set up I didn't even get my tripod out to film setting up the camera cuz there is so much dang poison ivy around me I don't want to get any of my stuff in it so I'm just gonna pack up got the last trail camera hung head back to the truck but I think that'll do it for today's video I hope maybe you guys were able to take something away from this video like I was talking about with the public land um, and the buck bedding. I think that area is going to really, really pan out pretty well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a really good buck using that area. But anyway, yeah, it's a fun video to make. I'm glad I got out here early and beat the heat for the most part. It's really, really hot right now, but... I just set my last camera, so we're good to go. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to help support the brand, grab yourself a hat, t-shirt, hoodie, decal, veins, wraps. We got everything. It's all up on the Whitetail Fit website. It's just whitetailfit.com. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.